Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a quick comparison review between the Chanel Jumbo and the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. And my Chanel Jumbo is a double flap. And so yeah, let's see um, how these two compare. Um, so the reason I'm doing this video today is because I am switching out from my Chanel Jumbo to my Pochette Matisse. It is raining outside and I feel much more comfortable carrying my Pochette Matisse, my canvas bag, because I don't have to worry about getting any water damage done to my bags. Um, and then another thing is a lot of my friends always ask me questions like, are you loving your Chanel Jumbo? Do you love it more than the Pochette Matisse? Um, does it carry, fit about the same amount of things? You know, just a lot of questions comparing the two. And so I thought, you know what? I will, I will just share it with the whole world and show you guys what exactly fits from the Chanel Jumbo into the Pochette Matisse. So um, let's first start out with the dimensions. The Pochette Matisse first is nine and a half inches wide. It's seven inches tall. And the width when it's empty is right around three and a half inches. The Pochette, um, no, the Chanel Jumbo is 12 inches wide. It's eight inches in height. So as you can see, it's about an inch higher or taller than the Pochette Matisse. And then the width is three and a half inches at the bottom. So width wise, they're pretty similar. The one thing, however, is the Pochette Matisse, um, if you open it up, you can see there are three compartments that you know open up very wide accordion style. And so when you have this guy packed up, it gets a lot bigger like this. So it's going to be um, a lot wider than three and a half inches when it's filled. So let's just start out by showing you what is inside my Chanel Jumbo. So um, if you guys don't know anything about this bag, which I really highly doubt unless you've been living under a rock, um, this bag is in the black caviar leather with the silver hardware. Like I said, it is the double flap and it has the turn lock closure in the front. And then in the back, there is a Mona Lisa pocket, which I am not currently holding anything in there. I will sometimes put an occasional receipt in there. And then if I wanna be hands-free, sometimes I'll just, um, you know, kind of slip my phone in there, you know, vertically, just to, you know, kind of put it down briefly. But otherwise, I don't use this. I don't want it to stretch out. Um, I don't use that back pocket very much. So let's open this baby up. And then as you can see, there's the double flap. Oh, and I do have a Chanel ribbon that's tying the strap together because I normally I wear this bag single strap either on the shoulder or crossbody. Crossbody is the preferred method for me. And um, yeah, and this just, you know, helps to make the straps a little bit shorter because it does hang a little bit low for me when it is worn um, single strap. And so, that's one thing. Um, there is a zippered pocket here, but really it, you can barely fit anything in there, so I never use that one. Um, there is a slip pocket right behind the flap, which is where I put my checkbook in. And the reason I um, put my checkbook in there is because I hardly ever have to take it out. However, I do need it with me um, because I do need it from time to time to you know pay my um, kids instructors and things like that. Um, the reason I don't like using this pocket for anything else is because of the stitches right here. The double flap is actually stitched down. I don't know if you can see that really great, but yeah, there are two stitches that actually um, hold that double um, flap down. And I've heard a lot of horror stories where these stitches have popped. And obviously, if you take it to Chanel, they will correct it for you. However, you know, it's just something that I don't wanna deal with. So I do not use this slip pocket for anything else besides that checkbook. So here in the inside, you can see that there is a slip pocket here, which is the ideal place for a phone um, if you want easy access to it. And then a big middle compartment with two slip pockets in the back and a lipstick holder right there in the middle. I'm gonna show you how I pack this guy and what is inside. So first off is my Chanel card holder, which I absolutely love. It's so convenient. And I put it right here vertically like that because it's so easy to access when I have to pay for something. So that's where I keep that. And then I also keep my agenda. I know people don't use these anymore, but I have a miniature one that I like to keep right in there. And if I don't have this with me, then usually that's where I will keep my phone. 
Here in the back, I have my clay, as you can see, and the reason I like to put my clay in here like this is because I like to have my keys and my YMCA card hanging out like that because um, my kids usually run to the car before I get there and it is a keyless entry thing where I would just have to be next to the car in, in order for it to open up, but my kids run to the car and so I have to constantly push the buttons to open it for them. Um, so that's where I like to keep my um, Louis Vuitton clay and the monogram. In the other pocket right here is where I keep my mirror slash uh, blotting paper. It is a mirror right there with the blotting paper. That's where I keep that. Um, and then in the corner, you can see right here, I'm gonna take these out first. I keep a pen and it slips in there really easily and I don't have to fish around for it. So that's where I like to keep my pen. And then you can see that I have a YSL lip gloss, which I put right there. It's really, really convenient. On top, I have my glasses, which I need all the time, and it is in a hard Ray-Ban case, and that fits really, really nicely up there. Um, I have my two pouches. This is the Louis Vuitton mini pochette, and this is the Chanel mini O case. I keep this um, horizontally like that and this vertically like that, and they fit side by side very nicely. The reason I keep this one horizontally is because I don't wanna take this out when I fish around in it, and it's my catch-all and I have so many things in there. So this is how I usually access it. Sometimes I won't even zip this up. I'll just keep it like that. So that's my mini pochette in the Damier Bean, which I've had forever. I love, love, love this item. And then my most recent purchase was the mini O case. And I did do an unboxing video. If you guys are interested, please check it out. I have been loving this thing and I am so, so happy that I have it in my possession. And I do plan to do a review very soon about how it's been working, any pros, any cons, you know, my thoughts. So that is in there as well. And then finally, in the front, I have my, um, I'll show you this first. This is my Roken, it's a, it's an earpiece. So yeah, it's a single earpiece that you put in. Um, but this also works as a portable charger, and so this is dual purpose for me, and I really love carrying this, and it goes right there on the side. Um, then next to it, I have my Hermes Bastia coin purse. I did a comparison review with the Louis Vuitton round coin purse, and you guys know I said I love this better because it fit in my bags better, and as you can see, it fits right in between this and this, whereas the Louis Vuitton round coin purse would not fit in there like that. And so that's why I love this better for me personally. And it works great, great for coins. Final item in my bag is my Chanel zip um, coin purse. And this holds all my other cards that don't um, get used often. Um, it's really, really great. I'll just show you a quick glimpse of the inside and it holds a ton. And I really, really love this piece, so yeah. That's that, and that is the whole bag. And as you can see, it is now completely empty. And yeah, it is completely empty, and that is everything that was fit in there. So as you can see, the jumbo hit fits quite a lot. I did have room to fit in a few more small items if I wanted to, but yeah, this is all that I need any and on any day. And so I really, really love the fact that this bag holds that much. And so let's try to put all those items into the Pochette Matisse and we'll see how this one does. So the Pochette Matisse, as I said, it is a, it has the lock right here. You just pinch it together to open it. It has the three compartments. So there's great organization in this. It has the zip pocket in the back. And for this bag, I do use this zip pocket. I do use it for my phone and receipts and things like that. So um, the back pocket, this one is much more useful. Um, let's see, um, I'm going to start out by putting in my um, pochette, mini pochette accessoire. And I do have to zip this one up for this bag because I put it right here in the middle compartment, like so. Then I will put my mini O case in the middle compartment, like so. And actually, you know what, I'm gonna put my zipper on this side. I really don't have a preference for that, but um, yeah, that's what I do. 
<laughs> and then right here in the middle, there's a little bit of space. So that's where I put my lip gloss and my, whoops, and my pen. So that's where I'll put that and that's it. Oh, actually, you know what? That is not it. I do also put my mirror with my blotting paper right there, right next to them. So that's that. In the back, I put my mini agenda and my checkbook will also go right into the back. And then I will have space right there, which is where I will put my earbud with the charger. So that's that for the back pocket. And this is actually the smallest pocket. It's more of a slip pocket, so you wouldn't be able to fit in a lot of bulky items there because then the it would kind of strain the sides of the back. So yeah, that's, that's all I put in there and it worked great. So in the front is where I put all the stuff that I access quite frequently. And that would be my Chanel zip coin purse. I will put it there. I put my Hermes Bastia right next to it and they fit perfectly side by side. That's why I love the Hermes Bastia. Like I said, the Louis Vuitton round coin purse, I had a harder time like fitting it in and you know playing Tetris with. So yeah, this is why I love the Bastia. And then I will put in my card holder right here and I put this in vertically. And one thing I do want to mention right now is this microfiber. Oh my gosh, I love that the interior is microfiber because when I slip things in and out, I don't have to worry about any scratches on my SLGs and I really, really appreciate that. So the microfiber inside of this bag is just awesome and I just wanted to mention that. And then the final thing that I will put here in the front would be the clay and I will put it in like this and the keys will just fit in right in between there like that, or I can also lay it on top of the Zippy coin purse. The reason I'm gonna insert it right in between like that is because I wanna show you. This will fit everything perfectly. I can close it easily, no problems, and it looks great. The one item that the Chanel Jumbo had that I have not put in here yet is this eyeglass case, and so, that will actually fit right here on top of my Bastia and my zip coin purse. And it will close with just a little bit of effort. And I'm trying to do this on camera, so that's why it's not working. But with just a little bit of effort, it will close perfectly. And the only thing is that you do get a slightly distorted shape right here on the top. You see how it flattened out completely? And that's why when I use this bag, I usually do not carry my glasses case or I will carry my glasses in a soft, um, one of those like slip pouches. I will put it there on top like that instead of using this hard case. But I do wanna show you that it will actually fit and it fits fine. And you know, there's not, it's not really horrible looking when you put it in like that. So, I mean, it fits. And the reason I wanted to show you that is to show you that it fits everything that would have fit in my jumbo and it's, it's a tight fit. So the jumbo has slightly more room, but it fits almost everything exactly and this bag is my go-to bag. It's my carefree bag. It's the bag that I go to when I need to, you know, just be rough on my, <laughs> on my bags and all that kind of stuff. I really, really love this bag. I really, really love my Chanel Jumbo. And these two bags are very comparable. You will be happy with either bag and they hold about the same amount of stuff. And yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. So I'm gonna bring my Jumbo back. They, there they are. They are my pride and joy. I love both of these bags equally. They have been working great for me. And yeah, I plan to do reviews on every single bag that I own someday and maybe some of the SLGs. But if there's anything you guys wanna see sooner rather than later, then please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any other questions about these two bags that um, I didn't address in this video, please let me know. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.